hello Stuart here at HobbyKing.com. Now if you remember uh, roughly six weeks ago we announced the Durafly BF110. Well many of you will be pleased to hear this is the release daily because the BF110 is available to buy in all warehouses today. Now I know many of you are very excited about that and so you should be. It's a very unusual subject and we are very pleased with it and I think you'll be very pleased with it too. Now let me just talk you through the model itself and a few more of the details and then we'll move on to some other areas of this model. Okay, so let's talk about the details a little more. 1200 millimeter wingspan. This is a five channel model. So that is aileron, an elevator and throttle. There's three, obviously. Uh, what you also get is electric retracts. They're metal tronion retracts. They have gear doors on this models as well. And of course you have rudder because being a twin uh, rudder model, it's very important that it has functional rudder in my mind anyway. So you will be able to benefit on the ground and in the air from the use of rudder. Not that it needs it, you can bank and yank all day long with elevator and aileron alone, but for a scout type such as this, personally we think that rudder is very important, so you've got rudder. They are two 4.5 gram servos installed in the tail. In fact, I can show you those servos installed, if I pick it up here, if you can just make out here, you've got two 4.5 gram servos for the rudder as I mentioned. Uh, also you'll see this very nice uh, towel wheel that is linked to the rudder so that is steerable. Another great benefit of this model. And if I show you the front you get some bombs as well. Now the bombs are optional. It, by that I mean they are provided in the box with both the kit and the plug and uh, fly version. But it's your choice whether you want to have them under your model or not. So let's look around it a little bit more. Counter rotating props. These are very nicely profiled scow free blade propellers. You've got scow blades and scow spinners included in the box and they are counter rotating. If I hold it here you'll notice the leading edge of each one spin inward for that counter rotating uh, method which helps make a twin engine model such as this fly as straight as possible. Now this has just been dry assembled. This is the plug and fly version as I mentioned. The model will be available in two versions. You get the plug and fly that you see here and you also get the kit. So for those of you that want to take your uh, modeling a little further or want to uh, really work on some of the details of this model, there is a kit option available too. And when I say available, don't forget, this is a global release following the Durafly release policy. So this is available to buy right now in every warehouse that we have across the globe. Also spare parts are available in the same warehouse. Very important uh, thing to mention and I think you will enjoy the benefits of that as well. Uh, back to the model before we finish. If I take the hatch off you'll see the inside of the model. Now these um, power leads coming off of the speed controller they plug in directly to, if I can just put that down, this. This is the power Y lead. Now I mentioned this only because I wanted to show you the 5 amp uh, UBEC that is included as well. The speed controllers in this, the 20 amp speed controllers, are actually opto, so they don't have a BEC. And because we're running quite a few servos, we've uh, provided you with a 5 amp UBEC. So this is included in the box. You plug that into these two cables coming off the speed controller, and then this goes directly into the battery. Now, leading onto the battery, I will show you just roughly and approximately where the battery goes. Battery 2200 3S goes in the front here and you'll have your receiver installed in the back uh, into which all your wires go. Uh, now it's not the most roomiest of compartments because we did want to follow the scale profile as much as possible. That said, you can fit up to a 2600 3S in the nose if you're looking for slightly longer flight times. But with the 2200, we do get around six to seven minutes of mixed throttle flying with this and it flies very well on that battery. It balances out nicely and it's got a good turn of speed as well. You will be impressed by its slow flying capability as well. It doesn't have flaps because it doesn't really need them. It does slow down well enough for a good landing on a nice field. Um, speaking of fields, field operation on this. It, obviously it will take off from tarmac fine. Grass is absolutely fine as well. Obviously the steerable towel wheel helps with this. Um, but obviously if you're flying off a really rough grass then we recommend that you hand launch it. And hand launching couldn't be easier either. Obviously you launch with the retracts up. Launch it at full throttle with the nose slightly up and the wings completely level and it will fly right out of your hand. You will be very impressed with the power on this one. I'll put the canopy hatch back on. 
Now one final note I want to make is just on the assembly. Uh, it is a little bit more involved than a traditional Durafly model simply because there is a lot of model to fit into a relatively small box. Now we did that because we wanted to reduce a shipping uh, cost for you guys. So the wing is in two halves and there is a spar provided. Insert the spar into one half of the wing and then glue the two wing halves together. Very easy, very quick, very straightforward. The tail plane, if I lift up here, as I mentioned before, this is dry assembled, so this I will just take off. It comes at, uh, out of the box in three parts like this. You will need to glue on and install the vertical stabs like so, making sure that uh, alignment and orientation is of course true, that's mentioned in the manual. And then you will need to glue the tower assembly onto the fuselage. There are uh, Y leads provided and pre-installed at the rear of the fuselage to connect the rudder servos. And that essentially is about it. Uh, all the hardwares and tools and glues are provided in the box also. You do get that very nicely detailed instruction manual, as I mentioned. And at the end of our evening's work, you will have a very nice and very unusual model, which is the BF110. Uh, it flies exceptionally well, as I said. It is in the warehouses right now, every single regional warehouse and the international one. Spare parts are available too. It's a very good looking model, very interesting subject, so check that out on our website, go to new products and you'll see it there. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you very much for watching, enjoy the beer for my